Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. We are not gonna be talking about the astrological transits for this week ahead. Why? Drum roll! It's because Astro Chat Live will be resuming, yes, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday, you guys. For those of you guys that don't know, Astro Chat Live was the moment where we would all get together on YouTube. I would stream live and I would have all of the charts pulled up, all of the crystals laid out, all of the incense burning, all of the candles lit, honey, and we would got, dive into all of the good, air quotes, all of the bad, air quotes, of the transits that are happening that week and I would give you guys plan of actions. As you guys know, I'm triple Virgo, so I'm always gonna make sure that you know how to work with these energies so that you can make them work for you and not against you for that week ahead. And also, if you're interested or if you're invested in it, spell work, intention setting, all of those things that you'll need to know in order to maintain magical witchydom, if you're into it. If you guys see that I'm covered in fur, Franklin's fur specifically, it's because I am. He is so cuddly today and so playful and I just have his fur all over me and I didn't wanna change my hoodie because wearing your animal's fur sometimes feels like a little badge of honor. And as I said that, the Knight of Cups just jumped out. So I think that that's pretty promising. So anyways, yeah. Um, Feel free once again to set your alarms for 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Monday. And if you're watching this, by the time I upload, then I will hopefully be seeing you tomorrow, which is the day that we will be going live. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, spirit guides from the highest lights of the universe, I call on you now for your wisdom, for your direction, for clarity, for discernment, to know which messages are mine, which belong to the collective. Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I'm working with the tarot as a tool in order to dive into my gifts further and share messages with the collective, the things that it is that they need to hear and know. I give you permission to use the, wow. I give you permission to use the tarot as a tool to help awaken my gifts and give these messages to them in a way that is accurate and precise for what they are, ex are experiencing in their lives right now. Help them be successful, help them to be fruitful, help them to be abundant and thriving and filled with peace. Any negative intentions or bad juju, let it be directed back to the sender as I work with my gifts, gifts as, as I work with my skills and share with the collective. What do you need them to know? What are the overarching messages for this week ahead that they should know about? I just heard the word brilliant which I love, I love that. Okay, let me say this. Two of Cups jumped out three times in the time of me shuffling, starting to shuffle the cards. There's a string right here. Two of Cups jumped out three times, you guys, as I was shuffling the cards. For those of you guys that don't know, Two of Cups is the card of partnership, alignment, harmony, and receptivity. And what I can see here right now with the Two of Cups and the word brilliant, Uh, I think this year I've heard a few of the same similar messages, the, the word that just jumped out again that Spirit was saying was self-sabotage. So there might have been some things that I heard some aches and some pains that you or someone else have been growing through. And there has been, when I hear the word brilliant, I see a light bulb. It's like a light bulb turn in someone's head and the lights are on and everything's starting to waken up again. I don't know if this, what I'm hearing is um, detox, purge, or the end of a life cycle of something and spirit is kind of um, taking me back 
to a couple videos a few weeks ago where we were talking about the life cycle of a pupa, like the life cycle of a fly or an insect from the eggs being laid to the pupa stage to blah, blah, blah. So it's almost like that time when we were talking about it, spirit is now connecting the dots between then and now. So for those of you guys that don't remember that video, that's 100% okay. I don't typically remember the videos and the messages that I'm sharing, but Spirit is reminding me and reminding the collective of how something started a stage, a journey within its life of hopeful growth. Hopeful growth is what Spirit is saying. And now, now that we have ended this life cycle now that this person or you have ended the stage, something is being lit up, something is being awakened, something's eyes are opening. I'm also getting the message that someone was like sleeping or spiritually sleeping or mentally like groggy and they're starting to come to life. The, the What was making them foggy or what was bringing the energy down is now starting to lift. The fog is starting to lift and there's a sense of brilliance and transparency and vibrancy that is re-entering into your world. Now, what do I see this? Where do I see this? I see this as how you view a, a, a certain path within your life. So this could also represent a, a special connection or an important connection for you where there's been a lot of cloudiness and fogginess, uh, maybe even dealing with that person. This could be under the influence of drugs, alcohol, or, or just this need to kind of I don't know why I give space and just kind of rage, kind of doing, forgetting responsibilities. There's this sense of abandonment or not wanting to handle responsibilities and running away from things that are heavy. And now things are starting to come to light. In fact, as I'm seeing this, I'm almost getting like an Aaliyah bang. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Aaliyah was an R&B singer, beautiful, and she passed very early on. It was tragic, but she was known for this bang that she would have over her face. It's like um, Spirit is showing me someone kind of pushing the bang, like pushing this bang. And she keep she. The other thing too about Aaliyah, she would always keep her head kind of tilted. Now, Leah, Aaliyah is separate from this reading, but the way that this metaphor is coming through, or maybe there might be some type of revelation when it comes to her legacy that comes through this week i'm not sure i don't know why alia specifically is coming through but also funny um spirit is bringing me to her song rock the boat rock the boat rock the boat so something might really be in the works when it comes to her establishment or the family or the the grounds that are around her so we might be seeing that in the coming weeks or in this week um, if not, if that's not a, the message that Spirit is trying to talk to us about, then I'm seeing um, definitely a message of revolving around something kind of rocking the boat when it comes to a, this specific thing in your life. And pushing back and being able to see something, it's like all of a sudden something that was crooked, crooked is now erect. Now it's like straight up and it's more mature. It's more precise. It has clarity now. So, as I'm looking at these cards right here, we have Five of Cups reversed, we have Four of Pentacles reversed, and we have King of Cups reversed. Um, please pardon my broken nail, you guys. I have renovations going on in the house, and I've been moving furniture around. So, one of those nails was an innocent bystander. Um, and a casualty and all of the moving around. Okay, so King of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, and Five of Cups reversed. This has to do with um, like a, a feeling of t the tail between your leg coming back and saying, is it too late to say I'm sorry? Is it too late to, to apologize? Is it too, wait, too late to give you this offer? I'm hearing something that was once, once withdrawn, something that someone pulled back. They're now saying, are you still interested? Is this something that you want to invest in? This could be something that someone has really been fighting for. I don't know why I'm also getting like TV shows, TV, TV programs, actresses and actors, people who were once turned down for roles. Now all of a sudden something is coming into the works. There's just so many complications that might've happened with the original actor or actress that was once chosen. And now all of a sudden they're like, okay, we're shifting gears now and we want you. So now you 
this is also you know with the two of cups now things are coming into alignment and harmony for that project to happen and to manifest and as i'm saying that we have the sun card the knight of wands and the three of pentacles so this is something someone somewhere showing up and saying i would like to work with you is there a second chance are you still considering this are you open to so that type of energies are showing up now i understand that with the actor actress example that that's a very specific metaphor but i feel that that is a very clear message for someone that someone should receive um and now that i'm thinking about the word brilliance coming through and spirit is having me revisit that we have the sun card here so when the sun card shows up usually in a reading it brings a lot of light brings a lot of light and a lot of clarity and sometimes that can give us a lot of joy and happiness but with the sun card showing up, I just feel that this stirs something to life. It's like, I don't know why I'm getting a vision of someone launching a kayak or launching a boat, something that you would push out, and now all of a sudden you, you're being called to start paddling and working together in unison in order to make something happen. Are you open to doing this? Are you open to it now? Um, and this would definitely be after a period of just things being really foggy and maybe you're not maybe not necessarily not knowing what you want, but you feel like what you want doesn't exist. So that's like these repeating patterns of disappointment, these cycles of disappointment and, and being pulled into your cave and having to heal or having to address certain things or having to handle certain responsibilities. And for a lot of you guys, you might've felt like you've had to do this all on your own. Um, with the King of Cups and with the Four of Pentacles here, this, both of these cards being reversed, but there's a certain level of maturity and responsibility that they feel like, I'm gonna have to do this on my own. I'm gonna have to handle this on my own. Um, because in a, in a certain way, they don't feel totally comfortable or with trusting someone with their heart or trusting some, someone with their investments or trusting this path or trusting this advice. So there's this, there's this coming together in union that's happening this week which i absolutely love and this might have actually been triggered by the recent new moon that's happening the sign of leo and leo is also ruled by the sun and the sun when it shows up in the chart it lights up and with the new moons typically we don't see a lot of progress under the under the lack of light of the new moon because if you guys ever tried going out and looking for the new moon you wouldn't be able to see it because it's just a dark abyss in the in the sky and the clouds but it just always feels, even though you know that the moon is there, you don't necessarily see it. That's because it, it's, it's like a representation of what's happening here on Earth. That even though there may be some awakening happening within a person, it, you wouldn't be able to see it that same day, usually. It does happen, but you don't see it that day, usually. It may happen three to five days later. And I'm just feeling like something has... 1000% awakened into this person, into this thing, into the situation. And now all of a sudden we're Knight of Wands off to the races, Three of Pentacles ready to work with each other and the Sun card ready to prevail and have success. So that's very, very good. And I love the fact that Spirit is talking about the energy of brilliance. Now, if this has to do with a relationship, this has to do with someone who has been holding on to their feelings, deep, deep feelings for a really long, long time. Maybe they, they didn't have the maturity to deal with their feelings, the emotional maturity, or maybe they didn't want to deal with it, or maybe they were finding different ways to escape from feeling, seeing. Yeah, with the High Priestess here and the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who, or something that has been hidden, secretive, not so transparent with all of what has been going on. I don't necessarily feel it as something that is like intentionally withholding it's more of a process of i'm not hiding from you it's just private so this person doesn't feel like sharing or you may not feel like sharing everything you may feel like some things are better left unsaid or left covered up for your own protection or for the protection of anybody concerned with this. With the Knight of Pentacles showing up too, these are things that they're, I, I don't, 
I don't want to say again responsibility but because responsibility is not the right word it's just a feeling of this is the way that I know how to deal with it so this is how I'm going to deal with it I'm not gonna lay all of my cards out on the table out of fear of being too transparent or it's not safe for me to put all of myself out there or to show up and show my enthusiasm my excitement my hurt my whatever I have to privately move on with my life I have to privately make this investment I have to quietly do this for myself and not make an announcement about it and something about that is just seeped in the word integrity spirit is showing me that sometimes the loud the loud things are things that you can't trust and sometimes the quiet things are the things that have more I don't want to say backbone but more something that stabilizes them that makes it more true does that make sense I hope that makes sense you guys yeah, Page of Wands. I don't know why I don't like that, the fact that this Page of Wands just showed up, but I say I don't like because I think it'll actually bring, this card wants to jump out, Justice. It's like something that's meant to happen, something that's how the cards fall, you know what I mean? Like how fate kind of sorts itself out based upon how we have acted thus far, what has happened thus far. So... This is where spirit is like, fuck your promises. Fuck what you've said that you were going to do. What actually was done. And then we measure, we are measuring based upon that. What the outcome will be. So for a lot of you guys, you are in this really promising assessment of what was said, what was done, what you received, what had actually happened. You know what I mean? And then from there, you say, I can't count on this or I can count on this. And if I can count on this and it's been consistently reliable, then we have a future. If not, if it's consistently chaotic, if it's consistent, if you, if I find myself feeling consistently abandoned, if I find myself consistently dropping the ball, then of course the outcome is going to have to be this because you may say this about yourself or you may make these promises, but when push comes to shove, what actually shows up, what actually, what, what can I actually see? What have I actually saw? Some of you guys are not, you have matured and wisened to the point where you know better now on what you can expect. And that is ultimately Ten of Cups. It's going to lead to, lead to greater happiness. And not even a sense of like, I hope for it, but you're, this is a sense of I'm living in it. I'm living in it. Everything around me are things that I can put my hands on that I can connect with. I can, I don't want to say control, but I can move it. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's here. It's in my, let's say someone's promising you money. That money is now in your bank account. So you can then take that money and start to put it into the different places that, is, that it belongs. That makes you super happy in that place of your life. That 10 of cups feeling is activated because you're like, okay, this is my happily ever after when it comes to this situation. I, I have the funds in my account. It's it's not that it's not it's not the promise of it's coming that it's going to come. It's there. Ding notification. You receive ten grand in your bank account from so and so for a project. Blah 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 blah. That's an example. Or some of you guys need to ask for that money. Some of you guys need to manifest that that money or those people who will pay for those for those projects. You know what I mean? So yeah. Six of Swords, there's a whole message behind the Six of Swords as far as where Spirit wants you to go and how Spirit wants you to advance, how they want you to prevail. Let me just take a quick word from our sponsors. And the sponsor of today's video is Queen Bee Homestead. <laughs> Queen Bee Homestead Co. is the cozy home of Queen Bee Homestead Body Butters. Each butter is created with all natural ingredients, including rich shea butter, creamy coconut oil, fragrant rose water, herbs, and high vibrational essential oils. The butters are then whipped to a decadent perfection, which you can use to naturally moisturize and protect your skin from the harsh elements, including UV rays from the sun, and nourish and protect your hair. Explore the Small Homestead's website where you'll find all of the best-selling blends ranging from Energy Clearing Bad Vibe Shield, which features pure lavender and sage essential oils, to the warm Honey Goddess Body Butter, which features cardamom and actual honey. 
Shipping is fast to our friends in the U.S. Queen Bee Homestead Co., your source for simplicity, purity, and intentionality in your beauty essentials. So thank you to Queen Bee Homestead for sponsoring today's video. Now let's dive into the Six of Swords. So while Queen Bee Homestead ad was running, I was shuffling the cards and what I have been shown so far is the Six of Swords and the Hermit card, right? So this is you being in a stage in your life you are entering into a stage into your life right now where you are fully aware. Spirit is excited and enthusiastic about your level of awareness right now. You may not know everything that's going on in this situation or everything that's going to happen within the future, but you have enough. You know enough about yourself, about your intuition, about what you can do, what you don't want to do in order to move forward and to be successful. And I don't feel as though Spirit is saying that you are going to have to do this alone. Even though some of you guys are 1000% okay with doing, taking this next step, this next journey alone, I do actually get a strong sense of common ground is the word that spirit is saying there's a sense of common ground which means that there are like-minded people and individuals that you have it already connected with or will soon be connecting with who want the same things as you and those things are not promises those are things that they have already activated and are practicing and are rituals that they are consistently embodying every single day so you know that you can count on them now as i'm saying that spirit is saying if these are the people that you have connected with we want to make sure that you are um honing in those same traits within yourself to continue to make you successful to continue to help you to be healthy to continue to help you to be prosperous to continue to help you to have reciprocated relationships to continue to help you move past your Achilles tendon when it comes to connection or communication or um, lack, lack, lack mentality, whatever the case is, right? We all have an Achilles tendon, but you have enough knowledge right now to help you to move, move past that, to coast past that. As I'm saying that, you guys, the cards that jumped out next are Five of Swords and the Magician. The Magician card is the card that represents your personal power, empowerment and your self-knowledge, your self-growth, and the transformation that you can call out to the universe right now in order to materialize whatever it is that you are trying to set the intention for, whatever it is that is your next blessing that you are actively moving towards. And Five of Swords is those feelings of I can't do this because um, this thing is holding me back when in reality if you take a step back and you look at it from the bigger picture if you think about it logically which mercury rules the mind so well, the, the, magi the magician is ruled by mercury mercury rules the mind so it's taking that step back and almost having like a mercury retrograde moment when all of these major planets right now are currently retrograde from Jupiter to Saturn to Pluto to Neptune to Chiron, all these major planets are retrograde at the time of me filming this video right now. Um, but we're gonna channel that energy and we're gonna put it into Mercury retrograde and we're gonna have to take a little step back and we're gonna look at the bigger picture and we're gonna say, is it true that this, this person or this situation or this circumstance, am I powerless in this? Or do I pick myself up and realize that this does not define my worth? This does not stop me from having opportunity. Let's say someone at some point rejected you and said, I don't want to work with you or I don't want this, this partnership or I don't want this relationship. Does that mean that that cancels out all of the 10 of cups energies, AKA each, AKA each one of those cups represents the potential for happily ever after or does it just mean that that happily ever after within that situation has terminated for now okay so if you think about it you have a lot of different options and a lot of different opportunities but how are you how are you examining those opportunities or do you allow something a, a hiccup to slow you down or handicap your progress or handicap 
what you can do. In fact, something that may be weak in one area can strengthen all these other areas within yourself. So let's say you're not good at communication. Let's say you are uh, very vulnerable, very empathetic, and you absorb the, the, the feelings of your partner and that has become an issue in your relationships. One thing that you have learned is that if you spend too much time with your partner, as much as you love them, you can then absorb their energy and it can be really bad for not only you, but also for the relationship and for that person. So you have learned that this may not be, as much as it is a strength, because we can see the strength in an empathetic person, it can quickly become your weakness, but you mentally knowing to turn that weakness into a strength, you have found that when I start feeling overwhelmed or overburdened, overburdened by, even with boundaries, the energies of whoever's in the room, I then separate myself, I go on a hike, through nature and I allow myself to decompress and reset. And those are, those are things that you know about yourself, but you don't mentally tell yourself, well, I have this tendency to absorb this and it impacts my relationships in a negative way. So now I can't have a healthy relationship. That's not simply, the, that's not the case. All you have to do is change how your mind, like how your mind works in order to create a solution for yourself that doesn't hold you back. Now back to the cards, Five of Swords represents the energies of self-defeat or self-harm when we are trying to hurt something else. So it's almost like energy, law of, law of, law of attraction or law of like, terms of effect, or I don't know if that's the right thing to say, but that's kind of what Spirit is showing me right now, is how we are affected by something and how we try to twist that and affect something else, how it, um, how the energies kind of like spill into each other. It's giving me very much like justice vibes. All right. So remember the justice card did show up early here. All right, spirit, what else do we have? I was just looking out down at my phone. My neighbor was checking in on me, which is very, very sweet. We have such an awesome connection of Jizu. Like network of people around here. Okay. Um, Spirit, talk to me about this card, please. I'm getting this vision of spiders. It's like they're just like falling down and crawling in someone's scalp. It's just really bothering me right now. What are these spiders, Spirit? Um, Spirit is saying that the spiders represent loose ends. Loose ends. Things that are incomplete, not solid, chaotic, distract distracting, disruptive. Each one of those spiders that comes falling down are the, the, the issues that are like up in the attic. Their spirit is talking to me about the issues that are up in the attic. These are the things that we, or someone tries to push away. And I, it's funny that they're pushing them into the attic because it's, spirit is also showing me it's the matters of the mind, things that are in the mind, things that bother us that are in our minds. like the more that you try to avoid it the more that they continue to like um, reproduce it's best to just go up there and terminate them or terminate the things terminate what's bothering this is giving me I don't this is really giving me the energy of the other so let's say you are tuning into this video this afternoon and you're concerned about someone else's energy so maybe it could be divine masculine divine feminine concerned about divine masculine or divine masculine concerned about divine feminine whatever it is the counter partner is like your your partner is whoever they are they are dealing with and have been dealing with a lot of matters of the mind a lot of like last time i saw this it was last time i saw energies like this it was years ago and a friend of mine a co-worker was dealing with infertility and 
she was like, Jess, can you do a reading for me? And um, I did do the reading for her. And the, the infertility was this dark, these dark energies that just kept showing up. That night I did a, a whole reading for her and was just connecting with her energy. And the more that I would clear out the energies around her ovaries, the more they would come crowding in and covering it again. So it was like, it would just, I would be clearing and clearing and clearing and more of them will keep coming through. And they, they reminded me of black spiders. Now, at the time I didn't have confirmation of what exactly it meant, but a year later, almost a year later, I found out through my other coworkers that she went to go cry about it because she was hardcore Christian, which I love for her. And, and if you're tuning in and watching right now, thank you so much for, <laughs> Our time together back in the day um, and you know who you are but yeah so she she was very hardcore Christian and she didn't really believe in prophetic visions coming from me because I didn't have the same background as her um, not necessarily same values but this they didn't look in a way that was packaged in a way that felt safe for her but she kept hearing about how accurate I was in certain things and then when I told her this she started she was quiet and then she broke down later to my co-workers and was just like damn it she's right and this is what the doctors are saying blah 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 so we worked on that and she is now pregnant actually she had twins but anyways back to this reading so the last time I saw this was years ago and it was it was just a lot of blockages and those blockages are not things that can be medic medically healed no medical advancement can heal and work with spiritual illness or spiritual or mental discord. Some things cannot be fixed with medicine. Some things cannot be fixed with science, quote unquote science. Some things need to be spiritually addressed. And from what I can see is that this person, the other person that is concerning you, let's say this is a business partner, let's say this is the divine masculine, they have a lot of internal demons. Literally, we have the devil card here. So there's a lot of internal mental anguishy things. And then the Knight of Swords jumped out. So there's a lot of things going on in the brain, a lot of things in the mind. These cards are confirming the feelings that it is that I'm feeling. There's a lot of things going on in the head that are plaguing them and for whatever reason spirit is calling them loose ends so there are things that they have started but have left incomplete um, the Empress card is here Empress card is here and I want to talk about that but before I dive into her messages ten of Pentacles showing up is giving me a thousand percent the like a, a mansion or like a, um, a legacy of old knickknacks and tokens and things that are kept not in your day-to-day -day life but pushed into the attic so these are things that again i'm just really feeling like there's something that's been bothering plaguing divine masculine or the partner that is on your mind if you guys are thinking about that or if this is you then i feel like we're hitting the nail on the head and hopefully this re reading resonates and makes sense um yeah we have wheel of fortune Something has, there's a solution to this problem that has presented itself. That's what I'm feeling. There's a solution to this problem that has presented itself. I don't know why I'm getting the image of this one movie that is on Netflix. I believe it's The Haunting of Blair Mansion or Blair House or something like that. And it's like all of these, it's, it's this horror series and basically this well, the reason why I feel like it's coming through is because this message is coming through is because it's this family that has these stories of things that they are kept hidden, things that are kept hidden away. And, but there's signs of it that echo and call out until they're finally addressed, until they're put to rest. And I'm feeling strongly, a strong sense that this is the time where this person is working on or being called to heal and to lay to rest certain loose ends that have been plaguing them, haunting them, keeping them up at night, making them feel stressed out, sick, just by them trying to run away from it, just by them trying not to see it. Spirit is saying that 
they have to be left I don't want to say alone or isolated but they they understand the need to address these things on their own because they're their problems to handle and address not that she wouldn't be there it just feels like it's for the good of everyone if this person handles them alone and then then talks and confronts talks to the divine feminine about what divine masculine has been dealing with or if this is not divine feminine divine masculine and this is whatever your partner whatever the other or maybe this is you and you have to share this with your children and let them know maybe not all the details of it but kind of what has been happening what has been going on it's the the message of how do i share this truth how do i reveal this to this person in a way that makes sense without totally outing and then we have nine of swords so spirit is talking about prayer spirit is talking about intention and tapping into a deity or a god or goddess or whoever that you rely on in order to gain control of your communication in order for you to gain control of protection and power so that you can have the words and you can lay this thing to rest and not be bothered by it any further or if this is some dealing with someone else not only are you speaking the prayer or you're speaking a positive intention over yourself but also them to help them through the tumultuous energies that they're mentally f figuring out right now spirit can you please give us advice i always sometimes feel bad that the readings that come through are so intense when i know that there's so many readings out there that are very very light-hearted and I always feel like in a world of people screaming on the internet, I always come in with like a whisper or a conversation. Kind of makes me feel like a sore thumb sticking out, <laughs> which I'm okay with. I just hope that these messages resonate and guide you with depth and clarity and that they don't overwhelm you because my intention is to make sure that you do know that you are supported that you are loved that things are promising and I don't like to make promises and spirit knows that too like there's a pact that we have where it's like we're always gonna speak the truth I don't like to make promises that oh yeah everything's gonna be okay just keep doing this blah 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 some things we have to have like a certain awareness of that way we can finally actually have a positive outcome or a more successful outcome and I feel like that's what my channel has always been about so thank you guys for seeing the value in these types of readings I know that they're not always like walking into a candy shop more like walking into a doctor's office <laughs> a spiritual doctor's office yes so what advice can we can be gained right now so we have the ace of swords came out we have the page of cups we have two of swords and we have the temperance card so this is this really strong message of the truth will set you free are you open to hearing and receiving it when someone brings to you a certain truth or they are transparent with you about something or if you have to be transparent about something meaning like kind of laying your card who is this sorry about that um Speaking of my neighbors, they came over, but back to what it was that I was saying, if you have to explain yourself to someone, if you find that you are called to explain yourself to someone, or, yeah, I mean, I guess give an explanation to someone, there's this, or you were on the receiving end, there's a sense of being gentle, and maybe, I don't know why I feel like not giving all of the details, there's this really strong message about not giving all of the details and just giving like the bullet points of what you need to say. And if that person asks questions, then you give them, you reveal more details sparingly and then 
you know, if they keep asking questions and you answer everything, that is just seems to have a lot of a good effect, like a, a better effect um, towards the situation versus just all these details and all this. I don't know why that's coming through this week, but hopefully that resonates. Um, when it comes to advice though, on top of that, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Temperance, and Two of Swords. This is about me not taking on as much. This is about you knowing and maintaining what has already been balanced out. There are certain things that you're going to want to, I don't want to say protect yourself from, but not um, put more on your plate. Like there's certain things with Two of Swords, you kind of like block yourself from having from being accessed in this way. And with the Page of Cups and with the Ace of Swords, and even with the Temperance card showing up here, these are things that it's like a small invitation to go to dinner is something that feels good, or a tiny date here, or a little love note here. Like these small little tokens of appreciation and showing gratitude with communication, with clear communication, short and sweet to the point type of communication are going to be groundbreaking for you this week when it comes to messages and things coming in. Is there anything else, Spirit, that we should hear know about? Nine of Cups, love that. That feels really, really good. Something about uh, September, October is coming through. Whoa, Lovers and the Temperance card. So something about September and October showing up fall time. And this is interesting because I kept hearing about this, like when things start to cool down, when the temperature starts to cool down specifically is when you're gonna start to see, see like things really starting to come together next level what do you have to do what do you need to do what like putting your ducks in a line meaning like putting things in a line for what this goes here this goes here what what how can you prepare for what is happening some of you guys i actually see marriage union coming together things that maybe this could be a couple you guys being totally different from each other especially with temperance card and with the lovers card showing up together these could be differences that are so so great but all of those differences are put aside for what really matters and in this case it's recep re re reciprocity i can never say that word love connection harmony it just makes sense next cards we have ace of wands upright and the three of swords reverse this is that feeling of putting away the heartache it's almost like a person who has unpacked the heartache and understood the disappointment, understood why things didn't work in the past and now why they're working now um, and what now why it had to be what it how, I don't know why I'm so tongue tied right now, but why things had to be the way that they are and then Ace of Wands, it's that spark of and now let's start this new beginning and now let's start this and now things are going to be great and it doesn't feel like a promise if it, or like like something that you're gonna wait to happen. It's gonna be something that you're seeing happen, happening. I hope this reading makes sense, you guys. One last few cards and then I'll just... Yeah, Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands reversed. Clarify page, uh, Ten of Wands reversed. I hear like action and then inaction. So someone, yeah, seven of pentacles, someone that is dealing, that is dealing with you, or if you're dealing with yourself, this is something that you're dealing with, you may have this false start, right? It's like everything seems like it's taking off and then all of a sudden it, it just all comes crumbling and falling down. Spirit is saying, watch that and look at that. What went wrong there? Now, if this is the, has to do with the actions of another person, I wouldn't spend too much time trying to figure out why they couldn't carry the load, why they couldn't follow through or follow up with something because that would just drive you crazy unless they want to talk about it. But even then still, it's like, what did you learn when things kind of 
fell apart? What, what made it fall apart? Were you not ready yet? And if you weren't ready, what can you do now in order to make sure that you are ready? For when, for this, not a false start, but a real start. And how can you then carry it to the finish line so that you are successful, so that this time it works, so that this time it, it's going to be everything that it is that you want it to be. And with the right circumstances, the right recipe, the right whatever, okay? So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages. The tarot deck that I'm working with is is linked down below in the description box as well as my Amazon storefront which has all of my other favorite tarot decks that I love to work with that you see me shuffling with here on the YouTube channel regularly if you would like to tap into some really nine of cups goodies things that is that you want to get your hands on when it comes to magic intention and intention setting please visit me at bahadilife.com that is my home based apothecary where i create fixed candles and intention oils or conjure oils for those of you guys that are unaware what intentional oils are i also sell the best herbs on the market 1000 percent for you to bring to your home bring to your own sacred space in order to manifest under the light or lack thereof of the full moon or new moon um, and anything else that it is that you would need in order to uh, set intentions and to manifest accordingly okay so until then you guys I do want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one bye you were created to live a life of magic abundance love and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.